Mark Ogden is joining me. He, alongside our other Manchester correspondent, Rob Dawson, have been writing about Manchester City, Augie, and players that may or may not be surplus to requirements, especially with this summer transfer window coming up. Um, let's start off with John Stones and Emmerich Laporte. What do you think should happen there? Should they be kept at Man City or should City might want to move them on? Well, I think the question with Stones and Laporte is that obviously City in an ideal scenario keep both. I, I think, you know, they're, they're both two outstanding centre-halves. They both had a, a good season. Laporte's played a lot less this season than he has in the past. But, you know, Ruben Diaz is, is now quite clearly City's number one centre-half. What happens now is who stays to play alongside him? Because Amrit Laporte is not going to stay at Man City to be on the bench, but he's one of the world's best defenders. So does City decide to keep Laporte and sell Stones? Well, Stones has only got a year left of his contract. His contract expires in 2022. So... This isn't about the ability of the players. This is about a long-term strategic decision by the club to either keep Laporte happy by giving him the reassurance that he'll play next year or saying to Laporte, you know, you know you've got a long time in your contract, you're not going to play, we'll sell you now. But if they sell Laporte, Stones has got a year left in his contract. He's had, he's had his ups and downs at Man City, John Stones. It's whether they can trust him to be as consistent as he needs to be in the long term. So this is the tricky one for City because... The Champions League final, we saw that Stones was, was quite shaky early on. I think if you had to ask most people at City or within the game, they would say that Laporte is a better defender. So this is the issue. I would suggest that if it was a toss of a coin, I'd keep Laporte and let Stones go. Because Laporte, for me, is a guy that you'll get your best out of for the next four or five years. I just don't know with Stones. I think his time at City has shown that he can have big highs and big lows. So this is the dilemma that City face. If you have to sell one player to cash in, I would sell John Stones, despite the fact he's had a good season. Because if you extend his contract, you're basically backing John Stones over Amrit Laporte. And I think Laporte is a better defender. What about the curious case now of Gabriel Jesus? I suppose once highly rated in, in world football, but always having to play second fiddle to Sergio Aguero. But I mean, who wouldn't, in, if we're going to be honest? Now Sergio Aguero has been moved on from Manchester City. Is this Gabriel Jesus's time? Or do you think that Pep might be thinking of moving him on? I think it's fair to say that Gabriel Jesus hasn't really kicked on as many people at City would expect him to. When he came to the club, people thought he was the next big thing. And although he's done OK, he's won a lot of trophies, scored a few goals, he's not been the, the breakthrough player that people thought he would be. And, you know, you only have to look at the Champions League final where Pep started without a centre-forward. He started with a false nine. So, your Champions League final, if Sergio Aguero doesn't start, you'd expect if you're Gabriel Jesus to play the game, and you didn't. So... He's got a big season next year. I think City will keep him because they can't let two centre-forwards go in the same summer. So he will stay, but he has to deliver next year and he will have to deliver more than likely alongside a new centre forward because I don't think City will let Aguero go without having him replaced. So that means they'll sign either Harry Kane or Erling Haaland or you know, maybe even Romelu Lukaku is another name that's been mentioned. So Jesus is going to have to accept that he's going to be probably second choice again next year. He's just got to get, up, get on with his game and improve and start scoring more goals and be more consistent. He does have the talent, but you know he's been there a long time now. And for me... City will keep him, but he has to have a big season next year. Otherwise, we'll be having this conversation next summer saying that he should move on. Finally, Raheem Sterling. I think a lot of the rumours of him probably looking for life outside of Manchester City um, picked up after that Champions League final heartbreak. Um, some saying he may have unfinished business at Liverpool. Some going as far as suggesting that he could be part of a deal for Harry Kane that Manchester City would throw him in there. Um, what do you think City will do? Keep or move him on? Again, it's similar to the Stones Laporte debate. This, you know, in an ideal world, you keep Raheem Sterling, but you know, look at his situation, his contract, he's got two years left in his contract. They've already renewed Kevin De Bruyne, but they haven't done Sterling yet. Do you want to keep Raheem Sterling for the next, you know, maybe five years? Does he merit that? Has his season been good enough for that? I'm not sure he's had a good enough season to, to justify a long term contract, especially when you've got people like Phil Folden coming through. Now, Folden enjoys playing on the left of a, of a three, that's Sterling's favourite position. You'd obviously have to say that. Phil Foden is the future in that position. City so got Riyad Mahrez too. They got Bernardo Silva, so they're not they're not short of wide players. So Sterling might decide that this is actually a good time to move on. The only problem is you're you know we're still in the pandemic and it's affected the finances of the clubs. Where does he go? I don't think he'll go back to Liverpool. I think there was too much too much bad blood in that move to City. I think he upset too many people at Anfield amongst the supporters as well. You know I don't know if he'd want to go to Tottenham. Raheem Sterling might feel that he's got you know a bigger status than playing for a club that's not in the Champions League. So. There will, be, there will be takers for Sterling, but I'm not quite sure there'll be the sort of takers that would pay the money that City would want. So, difficult scenario. Again, I, could, I think City will keep him, but not give him a new contract. And if that's the case, then Sterling will go into next year with a year left on his contract. So, um, uncertain times for Raheem Sterling, but you know he's got it within his power 
to get a new deal at City or get a big move somewhere else. He's that good a player, but he's just not shown it for the last six months. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.